Are you thinking of ditching your gas-powered lawn equipment? Maybe you should take a look at the Skill PowerCore 40 volt series of lawn tools. We'll take a closer look here in a moment. Stick around. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Recently, we did a full in-depth review of the Skill 40 volt 20 inch push mower. Now it did a full quarter acre with just one battery. Now, if you're wondering how big a quarter acre is, that's your typical homeowner lot here in the US. And then when you plop a house in it and a driveway and probably a sidewalk and landscaping, you've got way less than a quarter acre of lawn. And we did a full quarter acre of lawn with this. So you shouldn't have any problem with one battery tackling that yard. Now, what we also have here is their 10 inch pole saw and their 14 inch string trimmer, all powered by the same 40 volt battery. Now the stick tools or the pole saw and the string trimmer come with two and a half amp hour batteries and the mower comes with a larger battery. Now we're going to take a closer look at each one of these tools as well as use them and then we'll come back and we'll talk about pricing, we'll talk about warranty and we'll see if it applies to you. The Skill 40 volt power core mower is a very simple mower but very effective, uh, very easy to use. So. From, the, from it being folded up right here, we can pull these pins, turn them sideways, pull the handle up, and now we have three different positions where we can set this handle depending on our height or how, you know, how we want the adjustment as far as how we want to hold the handle so it can go very low, as well as we'll put it in the highest spot here, turn this, clock that 90 degrees, and those pins pop in there, and now that's good to go. We can also easily extend the handle, so right here, we flip this down, flip the other side down, pull this out, and now I can easily change from being four foot five to six, four, six, five, no problem whatsoever. And I can easily push this being tall or short by the two adjustments on these handles and they make it very easy to do so. Adjusting the cut height of the mower is easy as well with one touch. So from one control here, we're lifting the whole mower up just by pulling this lever out very easy to see, very easy to handle. Pull that out and now we can adjust to the seven different settings on this mower to be as high as, I don't know, three, four inches and all the way down to a very close cutting height. All with one touch, all with one hand. Without having self-propelled, this mower maneuvers very easily. It's very light. This thing is less than 40 pounds. So easy to either pick up and it's definitely easy with the leverage of the handle to be able to maneuver this around trees, brushes, sidewalks, or what have you. Now on this machine, you can either have a rear discharge, which as it's set up right now, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna dump out the back of the machine. Or if you want to bag, it's as easy as pulling up this, setting the pins down in the grooves, and letting that go, and now you're ready to bag. Now when we're ready to go, we can flip up the hood, slide our power core battery, down into place, let the hood go. And now all we do is pull the safety handle back, hold the button for a second, and the mower starts up and we're ready to go. Now let me show you how quick this mower can be stowed away. First thing I'm gonna do, pull the lever, pull out my battery, flip the lever down, push the handle down, turn these pins, flip it forward, flip the pins back up, pull my bag off, lift the mower up and we're ready to stow away whether it be in a closet in a garage or wherever now we get a plastic reinforced deck a 20 inch cut so we get a 20 inch blade in here and as i mentioned uh, rear discharge no side discharge but rear discharge or bagger and by the way skill warranties the whole mower for five years as well this is the skill power jump charger for the 40 volt batteries and we just finished mowing with this 40 volt battery here. Well, the last thing we want to do is take a, you know, 120, yeah, 120 degrees, 118. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's getting 125 degrees. So there's some hot spots in this battery for sure. So we've got a 120 degree battery. The last thing we want to do is just throw it on here and it just start charging the pack and overheating it. Well, you'll notice here when I slide this on, I don't know if you heard that, but I heard a fan kick on it. What that fan's doing 
is it's actually circulating air not only through the charger, but also through the battery. There are air passages in this battery that actually let it exhaust heat as well as let it pull in cooler air into the battery and into the charger, keeping these packs cool as they charge. This is the Skill 14 inch 40 volt string trimmer. Now when you get it, it's kind of folded up like this and we can extend this out. And by the way, you can fold this up and put it in your closet if you want to as well or hang it up in your garage, what have you, as you need to just by taking these T20 screws here and running them out and then you can fold it or you can just leave it together like this if you want to and just hang it. But you do have the option of folding that up just by removing those two screws. You get a handle here that's easy to adjust just by turning the thumb screw and you can put this up and back and also twist it on the shaft if you need to. Um, we'll get into the controls in one moment when we actually use it, but just really quick, you have basically a, a safety lock that slides either way. So with either thumb, if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can slide that over and then pull the trigger. You can see the trigger is locked out right now, but if I push this, that's going to allow that trigger to move. We do have a brushless motor and it runs on a lithium ion uh, 40 volt battery. Now let's take a look at the business end. As we mentioned, we get a 14 inch head. And what's that mean? Well, that means the cutting swath is actually 14 inches. So if we were to measure from the center of this to this blade here that actually cuts off the string, that would be right at seven inches. So seven times two, that gives us our di diameter here, or that gives us our radius. And then times two would be the diameter, which would be 14 inches. So that gives us a 14 inch cutting swath. You do get a bump feed head. And what's that mean? That means that as the trimmer is spinning, as the head is spinning, so as you have your finger on the throttle, bump it on a firm surface, typically on the concrete, and it will extend the string out. And then the blade here will actually cut the string off. So bump it, let it run for a second and you'll hear the string trim off and you'll, you'll hear it uh, smooth out and then you can go back to cutting. Here's the nice thing about this. To load this, obviously we could do your typical where you have to depress these two things here and pull this head off, but that's kind of a pain, tell you the truth. And then you pull this out and the string unravels and all that, but we don't have to do that. In fact, let's pull the string out. And by the way, it comes with a good amount of string here. Okay, so we've got all our string, all our original string off, which by the way, this comes with 080 string on it. So this is 080 line, which you can buy that if you want to. And it looks like there's, I don't know, 15 feet or so on there. That's after we've used it a while. Um, but anyway, we don't have, that's not how we have to replenish the string. Once it's all gone, you don't even have to take this head off. So let me put this back on. Okay, so we have our head back together here. Our, all, all our string is out. All we need to do is to make sure if you'll see here, we've got this red ring around here. So I can turn it or I can turn the head and make sure it's popped into one of those locations there and indexed in there properly. And what that's gonna do, that's going to align the hole so that we can take our string and just feed it straight through. So it just fed that straight through and now I want to, basically I just want to get it even. And that's at least 20 foot of string. So I'm going to make sure the ends are even. Hold this here. And then I'm just going to turn the red ring here or turn the head. And that's rolling the string in there so that you don't have to worry about winding line. And 
and there we go. We've rolled 20 feet of string in there in just one minute. And now we're ready to go. When we crank this up, pull the trigger, it'll actually cut itself on the razor wire, on the razor blade there, and we'll be good to go. So no worries in having to take that head off to wind that string in there, very easy to do. As we mentioned, we get a brushless motor that's actually turning this head. So you're gonna increase in efficiency and power with that brushless system. So first, as we mentioned, uh, the trigger lock is gonna be engaged so you can't pull the trigger. But once you slide this either left or right, so if you're right-handed, you can easily slide it to the right and pull the trigger. Or if you're left-handed, push it over to the left. And then once you pull the trigger, that will engage the string trimmer. So your typical yard, your typical trimming, uh, this is gonna handle no problem at all. So your grass up against concrete, uh, even some of your curbing, things like that around flower beds, uh, your typical maintenance trimming, it's not going to have a problem whatsoever. Uh, and even getting into thicker grass like this, this is definitely not something that you would tackle a large project with, but when you do need to get that uh, overgrowth if you will, or that kind of beginning of the season, end of the season, what have you to cut back, or maybe you've just been on vacation for a couple of weeks and you need to knock down that heavy stuff, it can handle that as well. Now we've extended this line out, so the first thing it needs to do is cut off. So when I pull the trigger, you'll hear it beating against that, uh, that cutting blade until it cuts off. So now once we hear that nice whir sound without it beating something, then we know that line's trimmed off and we're ready to go. This is the skill 10 inch pole saw, extends up to 10 feet and the model number is the PS4561C. Powered by the 40 volt uh, lithium ion battery and it is a brushless motor that turns the blade. Now, as I mentioned, we have a 10 inch bar and the chain is an 043 gauge and a 3 8 pitch. Um, and you get 40 feet per second. I think they say 12 meters per second, but that translates to like 39.3 feet per second as far as chain speed goes. You have a nice translucent oil container or bar oil container. So it can hold your bar oil, put your, put your oil in there, and then you can easily see how much you have in there and make sure you do that to uh, extend the life of that chain for sure. Uh, you have a pulling hook here where you can pull down limbs and, and things like that. And then you have an easy to use tensioner, loosen that up, tension it this way, and then tighten it back down and you're good to go. So to tighten it, basically you have a plus and a minus here and you can loosen that up and then go to the plus side, tighten it back down and that's gonna tighten down your bar and lock it into place. So very easy to adjust that chain tension. Now it is a two piece saw. So first you'll have to connect the two ends together, which are very easy to do. So once you slide it in, then you put the collar over and screw it down. We'll show you once we're in the field in a moment. And then you have the extendability here uh, just by loosening this up, sliding out the pole, and then tighten this back down. And then once you loosen it, it'll actually pull back in as well as you can slide it in and lock it down to close it up. Uh, also the handle, easy adjustable handle. You can just flip this here and be able to slide this back wherever you want it and then clamp that back down, no screws or anything like that. So very easy to adjust that. On the trigger side, the only, uh, the only safety we have is a, a thumb lock or a trigger lock. So if I pull the trigger, it does not engage, but once I slide the lock and then pull the trigger, we should be able to turn that chain and uh, crank up that 40 feet per second and be able to take care of those limbs. As I mentioned, powered by the 40 volt battery, lithium ion battery. Um, as we mentioned earlier, Skill has a great battery system as well as charging system, charge things very fast and safely. I uh, have fans built into the chargers to keep the batteries cool while it is charging and to charge those very quickly. So let's go out in the field, let's use this, and then we'll wrap everything up. 
So you're going to have this in two sections, and you see there's three prongs here on the end of the pole uh, when that connects, and there's two flat spots on this as well. So you can easily tell which way this goes in, and it's just going to slide in to that ring, and then you can slide the collar down, screw that into place to lock that in nice and tight. And then this one here, once you loosen it, is going to allow you to extend this out, and then you can lock that into place there where you can extend it out to the length that you need for cutting. First thing, let's put some bar oil in the tank. And we can easily tell that we've already got oil in there through that translucent tank there. We can see that we're way over our minimum if you keep that blade nice and lubed. Now we can slide our cover off. and make sure our chain is tensioned. Just like the string trimmer, you're going to slide your trigger lock over, except it's not left and right, it's just on the left hand slide, so you'll slide it to the right, and then you can engage that trigger. It cuts very easy on those smaller limbs. Now let's try a little larger limb. This is probably about three inches in diameter. Do a little undercut first. No problem at all. We'll use this down tree here to uh, do some different cuts. It's probably another three inch limb right here. We'll even push our luck here on this, uh, it's probably a six inch diameter. Yeah, no problem at all. Now let's take it down to brass tacks here and talk about pricing. The mower is going to run you $299. The string trimmer is going to run you $149. Now that's with the battery and charger. And the pole saw is going to run you $199. So you're looking at $200 for the pole saw. 150 for the string trimmer and again both of those come each of them come with batteries as well as chargers and the mowers at $300 so you're looking at 300 plus 200 500 150 650 dollars you can get all three of those tools now you may want to add a blower and probably a hedge trimmer as well well the great thing is if you combine a blower with the string trimmer you can get that for 250 and then you can add in the hedge trimmer as well I believe for 179 and get another battery so really for less than a thousand dollars you can be all in for all the lawn equipment that you need to tackle your yard, including the pole saw. And that's going to give you plenty of batteries to spread around to be able to tackle that yard without having to swap out batteries and charge them. Now, the great thing is the company that actually makes these, they know good and well how to make awesome batteries and awesome chargers. And the fact is you can take one of these batteries, slam it in the charger, stone dead or bone dead, however you want to call that, at 0%, let's say, with it flashing red, it's hot and everything else, and in 15 minutes, it will charge that to 30%. So when you've got that one strip left over, or you've got that, maybe you've let it get extra long, whatever, you can throw in the charger, grab you a sweet tea or whatever adult beverage you like, come back, grab it out of the charger, throw it in that stick tool and finish the yard, or throw it in the mower and finish the yard. So the chargers and the batteries are really good, and they're gonna last you a long time too. In fact, Talking about lasting, Skill warranties batteries as well as the tools for five years. So I think when you're buying into the Skill platform, what you're getting is a DIY price or an entry level price with a step above in performance and quality. I really do. Now again, you've got a company behind this that knows what they're doing in building tools because they build them for others as, as well as they build them for even better brands also. So if you want to step up to that higher brand, they make that as well. But I think the skill fits in really nice here in the middle, but again, you're paying kind of that bottom tier price and getting that five-year warranty. I don't think you're gonna find that anywhere else. 
So be sure to check it out for yourself. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. And as always, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.